Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and the final season 2 is finally out. And if you guys are looking for the best settings, this video is for you guys. Make sure to stick around till the end. Do not skip any part for best performance and with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is compatibility settings. And for that, you have to open up Steam on your PC, then find the finals over here, go over to manage, click on browse local files. And then over here, you'll find discovery.exe. Simply right click, go over to properties, then go to compatibility over here and then click on disable full screen optimization. Click on change high DPI scaling behavior and then click on the first button over here, click on OK and then click on OK. Step number two is the best Windows settings. And for that, you have to open up settings on your PC right over here you'll find gaming and then game bar make sure to turn this thing off game bar consumes a lot of process in the background and disabling so will help you to get extra fps after that go back to gaming go over to game mode and turn this thing on it will optimize your pc by turning things off in the background and it will give you better performance Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open it up, and then over here, you'll find the option called Change Default Graphic Settings. Simply open this thing up, and in here, you'll find two options Hardware X Rated GPU Scheduling. That means it will utilize your GPU more than your CPU for rendering. You have to enable this thing and optimizations for windowed games this will help you to reduce your input latency in windowed games after that go back to graphics and in this list you'll find all of the applications and games that uses your gpu primarily you have to find discovery.exe over here if not yet already in this list you can go over to options and then click on high performance if this is not in the list you can go to browse and then paste the installation location that you've copied and then add discovery.exe from here once that is done, close settings. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. And now let's move to step number 3 that is de-animating your windows. It is a super important step so simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Over here click on adjust for best performance, click on the first option that is save taskbar thumbnail previews, after that you will find show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Make sure to enable just 3 of these things and it will de-animate all of the unnecessary animations on your windows and it will help you to save the processes and services running in the background after that you have to set up your virtual memory so for this you have to go over to advanced settings and then for process scheduling set this into programs virtual memory click on change deselect automatic manage paging file size for all drives and then over here select your local disk c for custom size set this thing to 1361 as it is just a little bit over 1 gb and for maximum size you have to open up your calculator and you also have to open up system information on your pc take a look of your installed physical memory that is 32 gb for me also take a look of your processor that is an amd processor for me now over here 32 is your installed physical memory multiply it with 1024 and you will get the memory size in megabytes this size is your total memory size you have to divide this thing by two and now you get the half of your total memory size that is the value that you have to set in the maximum size this is the perfect way to set up virtual memory for your pc to improve your gaming performance make sure to click on set after this click on ok and then click on ok over here as well 
Next step is fixing all network issues using exit lag. Exit lag is close choice to get rid of your internet issues such as packet loss, latency, ping issues and much more. You can download exit lag from the link in the description below. The application itself looks like this and make sure that you turn this thing on. Over here on the left hand side you'll find a list of over 1000 games to choose from and you can simply search for the finals over here. Simply click on it and choose the nearest game region to you. For me, it will be Singapore 01 and it will give me an estimated 53 milliseconds of ping. Simply click on apply routes and the final will be added to your recent list. This will help you to one click optimize your internet as it helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any connection and it will help you to fix your packet loss, ping issues, latency, input delay and so much more. The best part of exit lag is the tool section over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section where if you enable the first, second, third, fourth fifth third last and last option and it will also help you to increase your fps by a ton once again i personally use exit lag to fix all of my network issues and you can too by getting a subscription from the link in the description below and if you go through my link you can get up to 33 percent off on a quarterly subscription that will give you a two plus one month free so make sure to go check out exit lag from the link in the description below next step is disabling memory compression and for that you have to open up powershell as administrator so simply go over to search for powershell and open it up as administrator now once it opens up you have to paste this command that is get hyphen mma gent and it will show you your memory compression state now it is false and you have to make sure that this is set to false if this is true you have to disable it and to disable it you have to paste this command that is disable hyphen mma gent space hyphen mc and it will disable memory compression now once again if now once again if this does not lead to better fps or you know it is not giving you optimal performance you can type in this command that is enable hyphen mmagent space mc and it will turn the memory compression back on next step is creating a restore point and this is super important simply search for create a restore point on your pc and then look for your local disk c over here then click on configure and make sure the tunnel system protection is enabled click on ok click on create and name it the finals just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every settings back without any data loss allow your computer a few minutes to do this thing as it is super important once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the final season 2 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can simply open it up and in here you'll find in five simple folders first one is the cpu priority in which i have left an amd and intel cpu priority now i use an amd cpu so i need to run the amd cpu priority simply double click to run it i've already done it but if you guys are using intel cpu i've also left an intel cpu priority as well second folder is the ram optimization and i use 32 gb ram as mentioned before so you can double click and run the ram that you are using on your pc i have left a ton of presets over here and once again if you don't like the performance you can reset it back to default third folder is the most important that is the finals priority where i have left the high priority for the finals so make sure to double click and run this thing as well it is super important as it will help you to increase the cpu utilization for this game fourth folder is a completely optional windows important tweaks and if the rest of the folders give you optimal performance you do not have to run this but over here i highly recommend you guys to run all of them for maximum performance if you're running a super low end pc it will disable unnecessary services background apps downloading maps disable transparency enable clear page file and shutdown for better cpu usage improve system responsiveness for better input latency and win32 priority separation for boot once again if you don't like it you can always revert all of them back from this folder last and final is the msi utility v3 you have to run this thing as administrator this application helps you to set your gpu affinity so once again find your graphic card over here that is mine click on the msi button in front of it and from undefined set this thing to high once that is done simply click on apply and close msi utility v3 and now your gpu affinity is set to the higher state this will give you better fps once you're done with everything close your fps pack and now let's Let's drop into the game for best in game settings. Okay, once you are in your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Right over here, you have to go all the way down to video settings and then for windowed mode, make sure that you are always on full screen. Resolution should be on native resolution, however, you can lower it down to get extra FPS. VSync should be set to disable. Nvidia reflex low latency, I have set this thing to on plus boost. Frame rate limit, I have set this thing to unlimited. Resolution scaling method, I prefer NVIDIA DLSS with performance, however you can also go with FSR to performance. 
FOV, I prefer 100, motion blur and distortion should be turned off. NVIDIA RTX Global Illumination, I have set this into static. Then you have all of your quality level, you have to turn down all of them to low. And once you're done with that, press your escape key and you're good with the best settings possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also, leave your specs down in the comments below and we'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Fox and peace out.